this video I've been waiting to do for so long and I'm so happy it is here. I'm going to go through the 55 books that I have read this year and along with that give you my top recommendations of books that you should read. Disclaimer, some of these have spice. You can skip over the spice. So I'll give a little like, I'll give the rating of the book, I'll give the spice, if there's spice or no spice. First book I read this year was honestly really out of my range of what I previously read. Mostly I read like romance or maybe like a dystopian, but I read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and this book was something else, that's for sure. Honestly, I liked the book, but it felt a little bit repetitive to me and it wasn't my ultimate favorite book. I would recommend it if you want something a little bit different, but I wouldn't recommend it if you're not a big reader at all. Next book I read, one of my favorites, it's A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This book, ugh. This series, ugh. I love it. I would highly recommend these books to people who like fantasy. Um, they do have some spice in it, which are easy to skip, but ultimately she's such a good writer for fantasy and she just, I love her. Next series that I read was the selection series. I have the two books, my sister has the other book. I think this series was pretty good. Was it my favorite series ever? No, but it was a good series. I would recommend these books for teens and those that are just getting into reading. These are super short books, super easy reads, and they were just good. And after these two tiny books, I read these huge books, which were the second and third books in the Aquatar series. Honestly, I could give a lot of words concerning these books. I love them so much. The plot twists in them are crazy. You want to keep reading. And then she has two other books, but I did not read them because there's a lot of spice in them. And I do not like spice. So, really good books five star series then i read the cheat sheet i read one of her books last year when in rome really liked that book i read the cheat sheet it was good was it my favorite book ever no was it cringy yeah so if you're okay with cringiness you should read it next book i read after that was love in other words by christina learn really liked it the plot twist was crazy i was shocked it kind of had a miscommunication trope and Ugh, it was a little bit messy but good book has spice in it so i wouldn't necessarily recommend it then i read the inheritance game series and that series is so good guys if you're new to reading if you don't want any spice kind of teen ish because they're in high school but it's very interesting plot very interesting storylines short chapters really great books i would recommend that five star series then i read two books in the off-campus series the deal and the mistake i wouldn't recommend these they got a lot of spice in them which you can skip but like not the best the next book i read was a love letter to whiskey okay so give you some context on this book i rated it four stars which is pretty high the quotes in this book were immaculate so amazing i love the quotes basically the premise of the book is that there's this guy that she likes and like it goes through their journey and everything but then throughout the whole book she's just comparing him to like whiskey which it sounds kind of weird but like it's really good it's just a cool book it was very interesting and i enjoyed reading it so i would recommend that one and it's got a little bit of spicy thing but it's got a cool plot it was a bit repetitive but it was good then I read Her Greatest Mistake. Absolutely hated that book. Do not recommend it. Don't read it. After that, I read The Case for Christ. I tried to read this book like two times and then I couldn't read it. And so third time was a charm. Finally got through it. This book is honestly amazing. I would highly recommend it. Five out of five, six star read. I don't care what you want to call it. It is one of the best books ever. It's hard to read, but it's totally worth it. So I would recommend this to anyone. Please read it one of my favorites guys this is another book i would highly recommend if you love romance read this book please it's called my funny valentine by courtney walsh oh, literally i I'm, I'm speechless it's so good it's so good oh, i can't so cute then i read one true love by taylor jenkins reed and this book was very good I rated it four stars it was a unique plot which i really enjoyed and there's like kind of a love triangle going on and you kind of want her to be with both of them but at the same time you're like conflicted and really good book 
very unique storyline and I would really recommend this. I can't remember whether or not this had spice, but if it did have spice, it was like a pea size amount. But really, really good book, guys. Then I read Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Gordon, and that book was boring. <laughs> I like this series overall. It's very kiddish, I feel like. So I feel like that's one of the reasons why I couldn't connect to it as well. But the book is written pretty well. The first book is not amazing, but the other books are better. So I read that one and then I took a long break after that. I just couldn't get in the mood for reading. So now here is a big set of books. Then I read the Shatter Me series. This series was really good. It's kind of geared towards teens, but it also has like a little bit of, not spice, but steam, you know what I mean? So it's not like actual like spice, but it's just a little bit hot, you know, a little bit intense. That sounds so dumb. Anyways, so I read this series, really good series. I liked it overall, long series for sure. Some books were hit, some books were missed, but I would recommend it if you like dystopian, if you like enemies to lovers, if you like kind of a slow burn a little bit, and yeah, just a pretty interesting book series. Then I read Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This book was so cute. It's the second book in the When in Rome series, and love this book. Then I read the Boys of Toman series, the first and the second book, Binding 13 and Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh. This is a very mature book, so I would not recommend it to young readers at all. Please do not read this book. It's got a good amount of spice and it's got the mature language in it. So I wouldn't recommend it to young readers, but I will say one of the best series I've ever read. I'm not even joking. The character development in these books and you getting to know the characters and also the plot twist at the end of the first book craziest plot twist i'm not even joking so good like i wanted to cry i i just like my heart broke if you don't like a sad book don't read it please because you will cry that book's something else then i read the sea of monsters and the percy jackson series and like that book a lot more than the first one so just getting a little bit more of the groove in that. Still very geared towards a younger audience, but very good. Better than the first one. So I would recommend that one. Then I read the Mind Freak series, as I like to call it, because we're not saying that word, okay? It had a little bit of spice. Uh, you could pretty much skip. But this book was very interesting, despite the title, guys. Just please, let's not talk about it, okay? Steph Bower, she read this book and then she was like this book is so crazy so basically it's a serial killer <laughs> and an fbi agent that like get in a relationship and like the fbi agent doesn't know she's a serial killer but like there's a reason for why she's a serial killer and it's super complex and it's like whoa dark book a little bit not the latest book i wouldn't really recommend it to the average person but if you like a book that's a little bit crazy, that's one for sure. Very interesting though. Very, very interesting. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. This book I heard so much about. I heard so much about, right? And I was like, wow, I really want to read another book by Sarah J. Mass. And this one is, I think, geared more towards teens as opposed to the Aquatar series. But Throne of Glass. <sighs> I couldn't get into it, I'm gonna be honest. First of all, third person point of view. Second of all, it just seemed so predictable and I was just like, I don't really like it. But I got through that book. Then I read Sea Legs, which I did not know anything about this book going in. I was trying to find like a summer book and this one ended up being totally unexpected than what I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was just gonna be like a cute romance and then it wasn't like he like was in like some like bad business with like some people and then he was trying to get like out of it and it, i was like what this one's got some spice in it and i rated it four stars but like i would honestly rate this three because i don't really remember liking it that much then i read love lily by belinda mary this is a friends to lovers such a cute i read this while at the beach and man 
adorable. Highly recommend this. Five star read. Then I read Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros and that book was really good about dragons. It's got some spice so you can skip it. Kind of gave Divergent vibes and Hunger Game a little bit, I guess, but very like action packed. The only thing is it's a very long book, so I would not really recommend it that much if you're not a big reader. Then I read one of my favorite books of the year, From Lemnos with Love. This book, oh, so cute. Guys, perfect summer read right here, From Lemnos with Love. She's a new author, Naomi Swan, and I just love this book. It takes place in Greece, everyone. Greece, and fake dating, and enemies to lovers. Are you serious? This is like my perfect book, guys. Always Amy, which is by Belinda Mary. And this book is very good as well. Really like this book. Then I read The Cruel Prince, uh, the Folk of Air series. I like these books. There was some really high moments where I was like, oh, this book's really good. And there were some really boring moments where I was like, I'm really bored of this book. But if you're a big fantasy reader, I think you'd like this. Enemies to Lovers lots of world building and, and some semi big plot twists as well overall i would say four star series it was good then i read the summer of broken rules guys this is another amazing book highly highly recommend perfect summer read it's perfect for teens it's such a cute romance oh my goodness literally the perfect summer book read it at summer five star guys this this book i hold so dear to my heart the book is called Give Me a Sound by Anna Sortino. Guys, this book is one of the most wholesome, cute books I've ever read. They have sign language in the book, which is something I never thought I'd read in a book. They are at a summer camp. It's so summery, it's so cute, but there's some heartbreaking parts in the book. There's some really cute parts in the book. It is an overall amazing book. Another great summer read. Next book was Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This book was very good. It takes place on like the last day of school, senior year, and it follows these two academic rivals. Very cute book. They go through like a whole adventure because I'll just put the word, it's that thing, okay? I can't remember what it's called. But they go through that whole entire adventure and it's very cute. Then I read Just Go With It by Madison Wright. I didn't like this book. I'm sorry, guys. Rated three stars. It was a cute book, but at times I just wasn't really into it. It didn't take me long to read it. I didn't really fall in love with the characters. There were some cheesy parts, and the writing style wasn't really my favorite. So, like, then I read Mile High by Liz Tom Ford. This book was about an ice hockey player, I think, and like a flight attendant. This one's got a lot of spice, so I wouldn't recommend it. It was a good book. Then I read The Titan's Curse and the Percy Jackson series by Rick Gordon. That book was very good. I rated four stars. Plot twist at the end was really good. Then I read Just Don't Fall by Emma St. Clair. This book was really cute. The guy is a hockey player. The girl is like a social media manager kind of for the team. Super cute read. Would recommend this. Four stars. Then I read another book by Courtney Walsh, Cannot Falling. This one was very cute as well. Four star read. Firefighter and she is podcaster. Then I read Ciao Bella by Belinda Mary, which is the third book in the series. And I actually got an ARC copy of this, advanced reader's copy of this book, which I was like, oh my gosh, I felt a little bit famous, even though like it wasn't hard because she's like a newer author, but I still felt honored. I really liked that book, five stars. Then I read The Battle of the Labyrinth in the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book. And this book was one of the best. It just kept getting better in the Percy Jackson series. So if you start not really liking it, you'll like it as you go on. Then I read Absolutely Not In Love by Jenny Proctor. This book, five stars, ladies and gentlemen. I loved Felix. I love this man. We have some honorable mentions of the year. One of them was Harry Potter. I did not finish that book. I got like maybe halfway, a little bit less than halfway through the book and then I just couldn't finish it. I watched the movies to that series and they're like exactly like the movies, so I was kind of bored because I already knew what was happening. <laughs> I started getting into Crowd of Midnight. I gave it a second chance. That's the second book in the Throne of Glass series. But then Vlogmas kind of started and life got super busy, so I wasn't able to finish that one. Then I was reading The Lost Olympians, which is the final book in the Percy Jackson series. Didn't get to finish that one because 
Softness. The last honorable mention is going to be Faking Christmas by Cindy Steele. I'm almost done this book. I think I've got like 80 pages left. Very cute book. Final thing I will be showcasing is my very top reads. Here are all of them. If you're going to take anything from this video, these are the books that you need to read. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the new year. Ah! 2024. It's going to be a great year. Just watch. Just watch. It's going to be a great year. Bye. Bye. Bye.